is going on guys today we are going to be building the most insanely overpowered overkill gaming computer setup of 2016 add it this is not the most overkill setup that can exist for that i will add a rendering computer file server dedicated router computer a professional camera setup and a bunch of other cool stuff leave a comment if you'd like to see that build guide I won't be going into too much detail on each component in this build. If you want further details, go search on YouTube for videos on the product. But for now, let's get started with the build. Starting with the case, we needed a lot of support for a lot of things, as you will see later on in the video. I went with the Fantex N2 Pro ATX Full Tower Case at $250. To me, this is a gorgeous case, offering a ton of water cooling possibilities, excellent cable management, and I also very much like the overall appearance and aesthetics of the case itself. Next up, linking all of the components together will be the Asus Rampage 5 10th Anniversary Edition for $550. This motherboard will be capable of housing everything we need, but as I said, I won't be going into too much detail as we have a lot to cover. For the CPU, I chose the recently released Intel Core i7 6950X 10 core 3GHz processor at a whopping $1650. Do not fear, we will be doing some heavy overclocking on the system and I believe this processor will be capable of 4GHz to 4.5GHz easily with our cooling solution. For RAM, I picked up two sets of 64GB Corsair Dominator Platinum DDR4 3333 MHz RAM at $630 per set, totaling at 128GB of RAM. This will help us multitask, render, etc. super fast and it's just one big bragging right in the ultimate overkill gaming setup. Providing graphics to our computer will be two of the new Nvidia Titan X Pascal Edition GPUs costing $1,200 each. This will finally make 60fps 4K gameplay at max settings possible in every single game you can think of. And with most games you will reach the capped 100Hz of the monitors easily providing ultra smooth gameplay across the board. If you have questions like why only two, it's because Nvidia said so, okay? Powering all of these components will be the extremely popular Corsair a AX1500i titanium power rated power supply costing us $400. I also picked up red sleeved cables from Corsair at $80. For storage we first picked up a 1.2TB Intel 750 series PCIe SSD for $1124. Then we picked up a Samsung 950 Pro 512GB M.2 SSD at $318. Then we got shopping crazy and picked up 14 Samsung 850 Pro 2TB SSDs at $840 each. We will however be removing the drive cages in our case, so I picked up two iStar USA 6 drive SSD hot swap cages for $115 each that fit into the 5 and a quarter inch base in our case, making 12 of our 14 drives hot swappable and the other two will be mounted in the back side of our case. Linking all of these drives in a RAID configuration will be the excellent LSI Mega RAID SAS 9341-8i for $287. If you don't understand what a RAID controller is, look up some videos, it's quite cool. Now these drives alone provide 29.7TB of super fast storage, but for mass storage we first picked up an LAC 4 big Quadra external hard drive cage at $1200 and we filled it with 4 10TB enterprise drives from Seagate at $600 each giving us a total of 40TB external storage making our total storage 69.7TB insane guys for lols we picked up an optical drive from IO Magic at $125 that supports literally everything that we will never use it for for taking some of the load of our critical components we picked up a 4k 60fps pcie capture card from avermedia for 1325 dollars for fan control temperature monitoring and led control i first picked up an ngxt grid plus v2 fan controller for 31 dollars on amazon and then i picked up the whole Corsair link kit for $105. To see what each of these products do, click the links in the description below. At this stage, I want to make something very clear, and that is that this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by EK. I really just like the products and I like using the same stuff across the whole build as they should have no compatibility problems. So, starting with our insane water cooling setup, I picked up an EK Supremacy Evo Elite Edition CPU block $127. 
2 of their new EKFC Titan X Pascal Acetal and Nickel GPU blocks at $136 each. We will also be cooling our RAM just for show and for this we need 4 sets of 2 piece black EK RAM Monarch modules at $30 per set and 2 sets of Acetal and Nickel EK RAM Monarch x 4 at $52 each. Also for lols we will be liquid cooling our 750 series SSD with the EKFC i750 SSD block at $100. Now every liquid cooled setup needs radiators and this one has 5. One 480mm quad radiator at $123. One 140mm single radiator at $57. One 280mm dual radiator at $76 and two 240mm dual radiators at $76. Our last 500 quarter inch bay will be filled with the EKS Bay Dual Pump Reservoir Combo at $280 and providing additional will be the EK X Top Revo D5 PWM Pump. Making sure our setup never runs dry, we also fitted one X3 150mm reservoir at $55 and one X3 250mm reservoir at $63. Linking up all of the components will be hard tubing at 12 rand per meter and I figure we will need about 3 to 4 meters of tubing. And filling our loop will be 10 liters of blood red premix at $17 per liter but this can be swapped out for any color as you wish. I did not have the time to calculate exactly the angles and the amount of fittings that will be required but I know we have 15 parts and I took Three more just in case so I calculated about 36 fittings at $8 each. We will of course need fans so I picked up 8 Corsair ML120 Pro red and black LED fans at $35 each and 3 Corsair ML140 Pro red and black LED fans at $40 each. For monitors I picked up 3 Acer Predator X34 100Hz monitors at $1,200 each, which will be driven by our water-cooled Titan Xs at their maximum potential. Peripherals are very personal, but for this ultimate gaming setup, I picked up a Corsair K95 RGB wired gaming keyboard at $180, as well as a Mad Cat's Rad Pro X wired optical mouse at $200. I wanted to pick up the ultimate pair of headphones, and I went with the Sennheiser HD 800S headphones at the ultra low price of $1,680. For a webcam I could have gone all the way and bought the most expensive studio camera but I thought to myself and figured I would use it more as a face cam in the setup so the Logitech HD C920 1080p webcam will be just fine at $63. As my idea for the setup is to be used as the ultimate YouTube gaming setup, voiceovers will be very important and for this I picked up the Blue Yeti Pro at $250, the Blue Radius 2 at $70, the Blue Blue the Pop at $70, and for and for a microphone arm, I went with the Rode PSA1 at $100. Of course, any computer won't be complete without an operating system, and for that, I will use none other than Windows 10 Pro at $140. If you stayed until now and are curious to know the final price of this insane gaming setup, it tallied up to a whopping $34,000. $283. Thanks for watching guys, please leave a like, subscribe and share this video.